On Wednesday, May 8th, Belizeans soundly decided to take the unfounded Guatemalan claim to the International Court of Justice, the ICJ. According to the special agreement, this is what happens next. 1. By June 8, 2019, the government of Belize will submit the 2008 special agreement to the ICJ. Guatemala has already done so since their referendum was held in 2018. This will give the ICJ official authority to hear the dispute and to deliver a final binding result. The ICJ will then prepare a notice of when the trial will commence. 2. Next, Guatemala will have up to one year, that's 12 months, to submit their case to the ICJ. 3. Belize will then have up to one year, that's 12 months, to respond to Guatemala's submission. 4. From there, Guatemala will be given up to six months to reply to our arguments and five, Belize will then have up to six months thereafter to reply to Guatemala's response. Six, after the period of written arguments ends, the ICJ may allow additional pleadings, including oral arguments, and would set deadlines for those. Seven, once the timeline for arguments has ended, the ICJ will deliberate and make a ruling in accordance with the instructions and authorities granted to them by Belize and Guatemala, as per the 2008 Special Agreement. 8. After the ICJ's ruling is delivered, Belize and Guatemala will have three months to establish a joint commission to physically demarcate the boundaries between the two countries in accordance with the ICJ's ruling. The entire process will take no less than four years and can be as many as six years. This ICJ process will bring a final end to this long-standing Belize-Guatemala dispute. Belize and Guatemala will be able to put all divisions and antagonisms behind us and ensure that peace, development and cooperation prevail.